Uh, this video is for introducing how this DSP car audio amplifier uh, work with the uh, iPad and uh, uh, app. The app name is DSP Amp. So this is a car amplifier. It's a, a car audio amplifier using the car aftermarket audio modification uh, for drive the speakers. Uh, on the demonstration, we're powered by a DC power supply. Here is the power supply cables. Here is the speaker cables connected to the speaker. And the DSP now is powered on. Here is the audio input signal. It's a regular RCA input jack. And this is a, a Wi Fi adapter, DSP Wi Fi adapter. So on the DSP amplifier, there is a built in DSP processor, audio processor. And uh, all the control is controlled through this Wi Fi adapter. As this Wi Fi adapter can be a Wi Fi hotspot, and the iPad can link to the Wi Fi adapter, then they can establish a communication so the app can control the amplifier uh, from uh, the app. Our app name is DSP Amp. Now, let me show how the uh, iPad link to the DSP uh, amplifier. Uh, on the iPad, we go to the setting page and turn on the Wi-Fi. So you can find that now you can find the Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, it's already linked now. It's a DSP amp with a serial number, and it's already linked. So now the iPad iPad already linked to the DSP amplifier. We go to the app. Open the app, and there's a there's a question to ask if you want to connect to the amplifier, you or you want to go to demo mode. We, now we are already connected to the amplifier, so we tap on the connect. Now it's loading the configuration from the amplifier. Mm -hmm. Now let's get some music. So on the UI, we have a input level, a setting. You see. This is an input level select setting. We can also mute. This is a different channel. So on channel one and channel two, we can all mute it. And here is a high pass and low pass control. On high pass control, let's switch on high pass control. We switch the frequency to a higher frequency. And with a higher slope. You can hear there's a bass is gone, so only mid range and uh, high frequencies. Uh, yeah, and here is also low pass control. We switch on the low pass, also adjust the frequency to higher slope. Now we can hear the sound change. Now we turn off all the filters. And here is the time delay function. Now we turn on the time delay for channel 1. You can set up the time delay to, to compensate the, uh, the distance difference from left to right, or channel 1 to channel 2. But this is not audible from the video. And uh, it's a trim. Trim means attenuation. The volume will be lower on this channel. So this is on for channel 1 and also for channel 2, the same function. Now we go to the equalizer 1. This is a 27-band um, uh, uh, equaliz equalizer. So here you can see the frequency. Here's the attenuation level. You can just uh, operate as a traditional equalizer. Select any, any, any equalization you also can reset it. Here is the spectrum, spectrum of the audio signal. You can see it's changed from what I adjust. Reset. Then next is the equalizer 2. The equalizer 2 is a customized equalizer. Uh, on the, the, we have four point of customized equalizer. On the customized equalizer, you can drag the, this circle into any frequency you want and also you can set up the Q level there's a Q level to a sharper Q or a wider Q 
So there's four customized equalizer. And uh, every customized equalizer is switchable on or off. Okay, now we go to the basic setting. We switch on the uh, high pass and low pass. So you can see the spectrum also change with what you selected. And on the info tab, you can see the summary of the amplifier. So here is the channel 1, channel 2's level in high pass frequency, uh, low pass frequency, and delow, de delay value and the equalizer on or off. And also some basic feature of the amplifier, the working voltage and the working temperature and the lifetime. This is the basic operation of the uh, UI. And here we have some open and save function. Uh, open, save, restore and reset. Let me show the store first. The store means to store the current setting into the amplifier. Uh, tap on the store. It, it was a uh, notice that said write to the DSPM. Okay. Saving. Now all the setting on the iPad is saved uh, on the amplifier. Uh, on the amplifier now and it's on the slot of setup 1. We can do the same operation for setup 2, 3 and 4. And we also have the open and save function. The save means to save the current setting to a file. Then you can share this file with your friend. You tap on the save. Let me say 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay, now this file is saved into the iPad and later you connect to the iTunes and can load this uh, save file. Name is 123 uh, to email or to share to anybody else. Here on the open open menu you can see I, I saved our 123. I select this 123. This question load INI file. Yes, okay. Let's go back to the setting. So this is, this design is for easy sharing with your friend about your amplifier setting. And on the reset, it's reset the amplifier to default. So everything will be factory default. So that's the basic operation of the DSP amplifier and the DSP app. Thank you for watching.